Hi Fred, I want to thank you for sending in your samples for us to test on the uh, clicker die cutting press. I'm going to take a steel rule die, which is .937 inch high. It's got ejection foam in it to push out the materials so they don't get stuck in the dies. Uh, I've got four circles and a, a, a square around them. I'm going to go ahead and test this on this. Here there's 45 lineal inches in this die. Now this machine has a maximum of 60, and that's dependent on the material itself. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sample cut this. And as you can see, your material doesn't cut very well with that many inches. So what I'm going to do... Since, you're, since your patterns are very small, it looks like you've got about uh, three, four, maybe six inches. I'm, I've got another small piece I'm going to go ahead. This is a clicker die, which uh, I have to do here is switch out the cutting board because of the thickness of the die. Set that on here. Pops it out very cleanly, very quickly. Now that's probably about the size of one of your patterns here, uh, your small one. Now I've got a, another steel rule die that I'm going to use. It's got a different type of blade. Now this one has a few smaller inches on it. Now this one is uh, just has a few rectangles. And, it's, and a couple squares on it. Now I'm not going to use the whole die because obviously it's not going to cut the material that we need. So we're only going to cut a couple of pieces of it. And you can see it just went that quickly. And you can see it cuts the, the squares and the small rectangles out very quickly and very neatly. Now depending on how many you want to put in there, that's going to determine how many you can cut. Um, I'll give you this video over to you and uh, we'll discuss it. Thank you.